uh, shalom friends welcome to my channel uh, it's been a while since I posted a tutorial or video uh, <clears throat> uh, verbally day I'm going to show you how uh, you can uh, create a PowerShell script uh, that you can use to retrieve conditional access policies that you have configured within your uh, office 365 tenant so basically um, Microsoft doesn't provide a way that uh, users or IT pros can be able to export conditional access policies from their tenant. So you, if informational report is required by management, the only way that you can be able to have information about your conditional access policies by going through the tenant and not down at the policies that you have configured you note down the applications that you've configured and you see that could be tiring especially for environments whereby uh, they have a lot of conditional access policies in place or configured so the purpose of this tutorial will be to show you how uh, to create a conditional access policy script that will allow you to retrieve that information so to begin, first I just need to show you my tenant and uh, the sample condition access policy that I've configured for the purpose of testing. So I'll just jump into my tenant and head over to Azure Active Directory just to show you to get to Azure Active Directory. Uh, first you can land into Microsoft 365 and from there you can access Azure Active Directory under admin centers or you can just go directly and key in the url for uh, azure active directory usually aad.portal.azure.com that will take you directly to azure active directory for or 365 management so to access the conditional access policy that i've already configured i just need to scroll down here and click security and from here i can choose conditional access policies and um seems like it has opened a lot of windows i don't want that so just need to click security then conditional access and then from there you can see i have two conditional access policies that are in place they are not doing a lot of much so the first one block uh, office 365 apps access in android devices so basically what this policy is doing is to restrict access of all 365 application uh, for users who are using android devices uh, the state is on you can see the created date and there's all the date that it was modified so as you can see from here we do not have like a way, a way that we can be able to export this information to for example a csv file uh, for analysis so uh, to create our policy, just need to first connect to Azure uh, AD. So I just need to connect to Azure AD first. Okay, I'm getting issues. Uh, to avoid that, I can just open CoPowerShell itself. Just run this administrator. And then from there I can connect to Azure AD. So I will connect to the same tenant that I'm logged in currently. Okay, now I'm logged in so we can perform our test or run our script against JD from here. So I don't know why my Visual Studio code is not working for that, but I use it to create the code itself from here. So, okay, the first thing that we just need to do is to list uh, the, the, the patch or the modules within uh, 
conditional access policy for accessing Azure AD. So to do that, you just need to you need a command. So there is a command that we can be able to retrieve all the commandlets for accessing conditional access policies in Azure AD. So just need to run get command. And dot equal star and then it can conditional and present as you can see we have four we have one for get information though so this is the one that you're going to interact with because it's the one for retrieving information we have for new this is for creating this condition access policy using partial removing IJD policy and as well said this is for modifying already existing conditional access policy so our main focus will be on get azure ad ms conditional access policy so we can just push a lesson to clear that up so let me just uh, retrieve it back just need to copy paste this instead of just retyping again so just by running that partial commandlet the get azure ad ms conditional access policy just copy it again paste there by just running the command let alone you to just retrieve all the conditional access policy and their configuration within my tenant and as you can see it has already retrieved one the one I had talked about and that is the block office 365 apps access in Android devices you can see the ID of the policy the display name you have the state uh, the state usually exists uh, are three either the policy is enabled disabled or in a report only mode so we have the conditions as you can see uh, with the conditions they have been displayed in um, a bunch of stuff that you cannot understand so it's executed so don't worry about this i'll show you how we can be able to uh, turn this information for readable um, uh, of or friendly uh, readable information so as you can see, we can see this policy uh, can be applied to applications. You can see the target we have users. We can be able to retrieve information about platforms, locations if you have, and, and as well, we can be able to retrieve information about brand controls. So the script that you are going to create today uh, is going to export this information into a CSV file, and then from there, you can give it to management or you can just keep it for yourself just to see the kind of the policies that you have in place for your tenant or users. So let me just clear my screen up and then get back to my text editor to write the script. So the first thing is to create a variable that will hold all the conditional access policies within the tenant. So I will create a variable using partial, it's just put a dollar sign. And then now I can start typing like and just need to call it all policies. And then from here, I'm going to pass in the get AJD MS conditional access policy commandlet. Next line will be now to loop uh, through these policies remember if you have more than uh, one policies or will be uh, stored in this variable so we, we need to look over each uh, policy to get information specific to that policy so the way you look through partial or using partial there are many ways that you can do that but from my case today I'm going to use the pipe sign so I'm going to add the pipe a symbol there and then again for each I don't want to use for so I'm going to gain for each object calibrates 
and then new object that's new partial object type name we should be ps object property and then here we need to key in at and then calibrations again so what we are doing is that we are retrieving all that information look through that information and then create our new uh, partial object to store that information So the first thing that we need to grab is the ID of the policy. So to grab the ID, just need to in dollar sign, underscore, then dot, and then now we pass in ID there. So I'm pressing enter, that's why it's doing that one. But you can just keep it that way. The next thing to grab will be now the display name. Display name. So display name the same. Dollar sign underscore dot. And then display. Display name. Like that. Simple. Next will be now the policy state. whether it's enabled uh, or disabled or in the report only mode. So here I added two signs, so I can just remove one. To grab the policy state, we just need to key in that one. Key in the dollar sign, underscore, then dot state. So you might just ask yourself why we are an ID display name and this and state like this. So this information is it, it, it's parameters for this command leg. So something that we can be able to retrieve from this command leg. It's already included uh, in the command leg. That's why when we ran uh, get uh, AJD uh, and this condition on. It says policy command leg itself from the core partial. Uh, we were able to uh, see the kind of information that was returned this command let as you can see we saw we have id we have display name we have state we have conditions and we have uh, ground control so our focus will be on id display name state conditions so these are the conditions that have been applied to the policy so we will grab information about the applications applied to the policy users platforms locations as well if exist so the next will be now the conditions and the first we need to check which included apps so for included apps this one so under application the first thing to grab this one i'm just interested with this include applications uh just after learning this you can just go ahead and extend the script to see um you want it if for example you have excluded applications within your policy so you can just key in the excluded applications it's the same one so for my case i'm going with included uh, apps so that will be now dollar sign uh, this is different for retrieving information about um, the conditions it's, it's a little bit different so check out this so start with parenthesis and then now conditions that to focus condition we have to key in dollar sign underscore dot and then condition conditions and then now dot applications we are targeting applications Let's go back again there so the first thing is to target this parameter then under this under conditions 
we target applications and then now under application you're going to target include applications it's like a chain so now in dot include applications the way it appears and then hyphen and join then we just need that way so single quotes semicolon this is going to be the same for any other parameter that is within conditions so if you want to retrieve information it's the same format if you want to retrieve information about parameter that is within uh, or under conditions this is the format that you're going to use so the next thing will be now to target users applied to this policy so users users applied policy so I'm just going to copy paste the same and just modify it So we're going to remove application and then key in users and then now include users. Back to our script. So just need to remove applications and users. And then under here I'm going to include users the next parameter that you're going to target will be now the group supply it exists i'm going just to copy paste this information just press them so for groups groups are under users here so it's the same so i'm just going to remove include users and now add include groups remove include users that should be now groups simple the next thing will be now locations if exists location the same i'm just going to copy information about groups and edit so instead of targeting users now i'm going to target locations just going back to the command you can see we have locations here And by that, our script is done. Yeah. A lot of that script now is doing a lot for us. So I can just copy it and just run it from partial. And then you can be able to see the result. So let me just clear my screen. And then paste that script now. And I press enter so you can see we have that information in simplified form so now our script is working we can export now this information to our CSV file so as you can see under groups now groups 
applied to this policy users you have one but the unfortunate thing is that uh, the user is coming as UID so this I believe translate to the UID of the user so include apps that is all 365 apps location I had not defined location for this policy and policy state is enabled so you can just go back and review the policy from Azure AD so as you can see that is the name of the policy only one app that is applied to this policy and that is the cloud apps and on the cloud apps I selected all 365 for users specific users this only applied to a single user so this is the user and for conditions as you can see location is none but for the device platforms we have one included and that is android so restrict access of those apps are in android devices they have added linux preview so we can just get out there and as you can see the state is on or enabled so when it's on it's enabled when it's off it's disabled and then we have the other mode that is report only so now we can just go back and um, extend our script to export this information into a csv file that's our main goal so let me just go back here and to export information to a csv file um, Azure or Microsoft has a way that we can be able to export this information so just need to key in pipe symbol there and then call sort object and then ID I just want that information to be arranged in that order ID display name I need policy state next. I need included included apps. I need users applied. Should be users applied the policy. We have groups applied the policy. So let me just drop. I need to grab location supplied the policy. So from here I can just add another pipe symbol and call export. To CSV and then path path I need to store that in C drive and the name of the file should be conditional access results dot csv and then another optional parameter here for our type information so by just adding this uh, snippet here we can be able to export this information about our script to a CSV file so let's uh, run the script again and test I just need to clear my screen so you may have like a bigger view and paste the script there 
and then press enter boom run successfully let's go and check on file explorer as you can see we have the file there you can open the csv file and as you can see we have that information in a csv file so i can expand these columns just for you to see groups is none currently we have users users is coming in GAD. we have included apps that is all office 365 and as well we have the state of the policy which is enabled uh, location applied i didn't configure any location for this policy so as you can see guys it's working and that's it that's how simple uh, you can be able to create a uh, partial script custom partial script using uh, get azure ad ms conditional access policy uh, to retrieve information about conditional access in azure active directory so guys thank you for watching uh, if you enjoyed the video you can feel free to subscribe my channel for more uh, videos to come so i'll be creating partial script python script uh, for automation so you can subscribe to get uh, updates when i post a new video so thank you guys bye bye